Good evening friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Wipro coding questions that were asked recently in Wipro Elite National Talent Hunt Phase 2. The input format for this coding question is the user needs to enter an integer namely bill amount. I am choosing Python as my programming language. Uh, in Python, if you want to take any input from the user, we are having a function called input. The input function takes input as string type, string type. But in our case, we need integer input. So if you want to integer input in Python, we are having a function called int of input of. Int of input of means it will convert the string input into integer input after taking integer input from the user in python i'm going to st store that input in a variable called bill amount after taking input we will perform some operations on that and finally we are going to return an integer which represents the reward points reward points given to the user which represents reward points given to the user. Here we are having sample test cases. Let's observe the sample test cases carefully for better understanding of the logic. The input is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the output is 16. How the output is 16? Here we are having an explanation how the output is 16. The user's bill amount is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The odd digits, the odd digits that are present in the bill amount is 1, 3, 5 and 7. By adding all these digits, we will get 16. This means that in the input, we need to check each and every digit whether if the digit is an even number or an odd number if it is an odd number we just simply add that digit to sum initially the sum is 0 after adding all these digits we will get sum as 16 so if you want to get any digit from the number we are having a operator called modulus operator we are performing number mod 10 will return the digit 7 as output after getting 7 as output we are going to check 7 mod 2 double equal to 1 double equal to 1 means the modulus operator returns the remainder if you perform 7 mod 2 2 3 6 and the remainder is 1. If 7 mod 2 double equal to 1, then we are going to add sum equal to sum plus 7. After that, you want coefficient. Why? Because the coefficient is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After that, we are performing same operation on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and finally 1. After completing each digit in a number, number will be reduced to 0. Until and unless the number becomes 0, we will run through loop. This is the main logic. Let's apply the same logic in coding. I am using Python IDLG. Firstly, I am taking input bill amount equal to int of input of will take integer input from the user while bill amount greater than 0 until and unless the bill amount becomes 0 we firstly we are going to perform modulus operator on 
that particular bill amount bill amount want 10 after that we need to check whether the remainder is an odd number or not or not 2 double equal to 1 means is an odd number then we are going to add that number to the sum sum equal to sum plus r after performing this operation the bill amount will be reduced bill amount equal to bill amount by it will get coefficient that means the number will be reduced by 10 after performing these operations i am just simply print sum here we are using double division operator why because single division operator will returns an floating point value whereas double division operator will returns an integer value only and initially we are not initialized sum value but we are using so that's why i'm initialize it sum to zero let's save it and run it once i'm giving one two three four five six seven as input here we are observing that sum is not defined anywhere okay let's check it once okay sum variable is small but whereas I'm using capital S, that's why it's get an error. Let's save it and run it once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you observe, the output is 16. Let's take another example and run it once. Run it once. I am giving 1, 4, 3 as input. Out, expected output is 4. If you observe, expected output is 4. I hope the coding question is understand all of you. Please do like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thank you all. If you are having any queries, please comment it below. Thank you.